in a win for former Mumbai top cop Parambir Singh, the Apex Court has agreed to send the five FIRs that were filed against Parambir Singh by various persons in Maharashtra to the CBI for investigation. Remember, Singh had called for CBI investigation into the allegations against him after claiming that it seemed that false FIRs were being registered against him only to target him because of his spat with the former Home Minister of Maharashtra, Anil Deshmukh. The Apex Court, while passing its order, has noted that there has been a murky churning due to the battle royale between the two senior officials, which is the former Mumbai Police Commissioner and the former Home Minister. The Apex Court also lamented that this seems to have created a lot of churning and no one in this entire situation can be said to be Dood Kadhula, that is, washed with milk. The Apex Court has now asked the CBI to look into all aspects of this issue, including the veracity of the FIRs that were filed against Parambir Singh, even as the central agency is also probing the allegations against former Home Minister Anil Deshmukh. At the same time, the Apex Court has said that this spat between the two senior officials has created an unfortunate situation which the court is very unhappy about. However, while transferring the matter to the CBI, the Apex Court has also said that we are not saying that the Maharashtra police is at fault. In fact, we respect them. The reason for sending the matter to the CBI for investigation is due to the personalities involved in the entire controversy. All of this will now be investigated by the CBI and the Maharashtra police and all persons involved have been directed to cooperate fully with the Central Investigation Agency as well as to transfer all documents relating to these investigations to the CBI within one week. For a win for Parambir Singh now, as he had been claiming that he will not get a fair investigation from the Maharashtra police. The court also lambasting the Maharashtra government for refusing to give consent to transfer the case to the CBI. In fact, the court has observed that and in a situation like this, we expected that the state itself would call for a CBI inquiry due to the persons involved. However, one setback for Parambir Singh as the Supreme Court has refused to interfere in his suspension. The court has said that his suspension is different from this entire investigation and his suspension will not be revoked. However, but in a small relief, the disciplinary inquiries and the service issues that Parambir Singh is fighting against the Maharashtra government will be put on hold as the Apex Court has said that since the service disciplinary issues and the investigations both stem from the same allegations, it is appropriate that those service inquiries should be put on hold till the CBI concludes its investigation. So for all in all, Parambir Singh gets a CBI inquiry into the allegations against him. He is hoping for a clean shit from the central agency and at the same time the apex court very very upset at the kind of murky allegations that have come up in this entire controversy regarding allegations of extortion and corruption in the highest echelons of the state's administration in new delhi with cameraman prem this is anisha mathur for india today